the news at 10. Welcome to the news at 10. I'm Andrew Bartline. Many of us hope for snow on Christmas, like we hope that spot that shiny new gadget under the tree. And although we did not see flakes falling here in the Treasure Valley, plenty were falling on the nearby slopes. Skiers and snowboarders got their wish for a white Christmas up at Bogus Basin. News Channel 7's Jude Binkley made the trip up to Bogus today to talk with skiers, boarders about how they spent their holiday on the slopes, Jude. Well, Andrew, instead of heading out of town for the holiday, plenty of people made the 16 mile drive up Bogus Basin Road to enjoy that packed powder and spend their Christmas carving the slopes. The one place in the Treasure Valley you can find a white Christmas this year is up on the slopes. Skiers, snowboarders and sledders alike made their way up the mountain for some holiday shredding, a yearly tradition for many. It's really nice because there's not a lot of people and the snow is all right but I just really like the feel. It's fun to come up here with family after opening presents and doing that. We've been coming up for a few years now and we love just spending time in the mountains on Christmas Day, getting some fresh air and seeing what the mountains have to offer on Christmas Day. A tradition, Christmas Day tradition, yeah. So you guys do this every year? We have, last few. We've been doing it for Christmas and New Year's for a few years now, just uh, having a good time. Just a way to spend time together. While many stayed home in Boise's backyard for the holiday, others made a trip to Idaho and the Gem State Slopes, part of their Christmas travel. It's just, it's a beautiful day and we actually came over. Here's another one of us. <laughs> uh, we came from Southern Oregon, actually. Oh, we're from Arkansas and my father-in-law, my wife's dad lives here in Caldwell and we're just visiting. This is our girl's first time to ever ski, so we're just making a family tradition up here on Idaho. A new family tradition, taking the mountain, some snow, and swapping the Christmas morning pajamas for a pair of skis. It was really fun, and this is one of our first time skiing, and we learned really fast. It feels really good with family and friends here up in Bogus. It just feels really good. Oh, it's great weather. I got just a hoodie on, so it's nice. It's good conditions. I think this is great conditions. If there is a little bit more snow, this would be amazing because there's not a lot of people, there's not a lot of wind, and yeah, it just feels special to be up here on Christmas. And you could see some of the snowmakers blasting in that video, and today Bogus Basin broke its own snowmaking record by making snow for 58 straight hours. Andrew, they turned more than 5 million gallons of water into snow last night through today. To put that into some perspective, Bogus says that could cover a football field with more than 11 feet of snow. How is that snow with that, that snow making machine? Is it like powdery? What is it like? Uh, it, I'm not a snow expert, but it uh, feels pretty legit. I tasted it too. It tastes just fine. So uh, yeah, pretty good snow. I'm glad you're being resourceful up there, Jude. Thank you.